Easter is right around the corner, and as we gear up to celebrate the resurrection of Jesus, we also are approached with bunnies everywhere. So let's design a bunny in Adobe Illustrator. Now, one thing you should know about me is that I cannot draw. I am not a drawer. I am horrible at drawing absolutely anything. But with these tricks that I am about to share with you, even if you're just like me and you can't draw to save your life, we can create a cute little bunny together. And not only are we going to be creating a bunny in Adobe Illustrator, but we are also going to be turning it into 3D. Timestamps are in the description down below, so you can jump to any part of the tutorial at any time that you would like. The first thing that I am going to do is grab the ellipse tool, which is the letter L on your keyboard. I'm going to hold shift as I click and drag my mouse to create a perfect circle. Now I am going to use the direct selection tool, which you can get to by pressing the letter A on your keyboard, and I'm going to click on this topmost point of the circle. I'm going to shrink it down a bit to make it just look a bit more realistic. There we go, that looks pretty good. Now let's move on to creating the eyes. Again with the ellipse tool, let's make the eyes. I'm going to make these a perfect circle again, so I'm holding down shift and dragging with my mouse. I am using my selection tool, which is the letter V on the keyboard, to move the circle into the right place. And now I'm going to make a second circle to place inside of this eye as a reflection within the eye. select both of these circles and hold down the alt key on my keyboard along with the shift key and drag a copy of this eye over to create the second eye. Next we're going to make the nose. I like to use a triangle for the nose so I am going to get the polygon tool. If you're seeing another shape whenever you access this tool that's not a triangle like a hexagon or something else, simply just press the down arrow on your keyboard to reduce the number of points in the shape until you have the three points of a triangle. With a triangle, again, we're going to hold shift and click and drag and place it into the area that you would like the nose to be. I am now going to grab onto one of these little circle things that you're seeing here inside of the triangle to round the corners a bit. And there's our cute little nose for our bunny. Now for the mouth, we're going to use the rectangle tool, which you can get to by pressing the letter M on your keyboard and just make sure that there is no fill and only a stroke. With the rectangle selected, change the stroke type to be rounded corners. I then go in with the scissor tool, which is the letter C on your keyboard, and I select both of these top anchor points and then I press delete. This removes the top line of the rectangle, so now it's an open rectangle instead of closed. Now I'm going to grab this little circle inside of our rectangle and completely round this corner so that there are no sharp edges, and extend the line that is closest to the nose up so that it's longer than the other side. nose, I'm going to double click on the reflect tool and on this screen that pops up, I'm going to select vertical flip and copy. I want both of the long lines to be touching one another and to have them both evenly placed directly below the bottom of the nose. Now for the ears. We are going to use the rectangle tool to create a rectangle at the top of the bunny's head. Now that we have the rectangle created, I'm going to use the direct selection tool by pressing A on the keyboard and moving the bottom two points in towards each other. Next with the direct selection tool still selected, we're going to select the two top points of the ear and then use that little circle again to fully round the top of the ear. Now to create the inner part of the ear, we are going to use the selection tool by pressing the letter V on our keyboard and ensure that the full ear is selected. 
Next, go up to Object, Path, Offset Path, and adjust the number until the offset is at a size that you are happy with. Make sure that the preview box is checked so that you can see how large your offset is going to be as you're making the adjustment. Once you're happy with the sizing, click OK and change the colors of the outside ear to be an off-white and then the inner ear to a soft pink. rotate the ear slightly so that it's not sticking straight up on top of the bunny's head. Now you can copy this ear over to the other side of the bunny's head by double clicking on the reflect tool and flip it horizontally. Make sure that you press copy at this step on the screen and then you can hold shift and drag to the other side of the bunny's head to align the ear evenly on both sides. Now if you want to add any extras to the bunny, I'm going to show you how to create an ear flap as well as how to create a blushed cheek for your bunny. First, to add the ear flap, I am just going to copy over one of the rectangles that we created for the ears already and then I'm going to rotate it to be pointing in the opposite direction of the bunny's face. You may have to use the direct selection tool at this stage and manipulate some of the points to get it placed perfectly in here. Once you have it placed well, you can do a horizontal flip and copy this flap over to the other ear if you would like, or you can just have one ear with a flap and the other one straight. Now to add blush to your bunny's cheeks, grab the ellipse tool by pressing the letter L on your keyboard and create a circle in the area of the cheeks and fill it with a pink. On this step, I'm going to use a little bit darker of a pink than what I used for the inner ear. Now that our circle is made, we're going to add an effect to give it a soft blend with the face. With the circle selected, go to Effects, Blur, Gaussian Blur, and adjust the blur to around 20 pixels and press OK. And now we have created a cute little bunny in Adobe Illustrator. Let's go one step further and turn this bunny 3D. First, go to Window and select 3D and Materials. We're only going to select the head and ears and none of the facial features at this point. Go ahead and group the head and the ears together by pressing Ctrl G on your keyboard and then in the 3D and Materials panel, select Inflate. I have my depth set to 10 pixels, my volume to 100 pixels, and then under the Materials tab, I have changed my roughness to be 0.50 and the metallic to 0.2. Feel free to play around with these settings until you get your desired result. These are just the settings that I have found to work best for me. Okay, so we've made the base face and ears 3D now, but we need to add and adjust the facial features. Go ahead and grab the eyes, nose, mouth, and if you made them, your blushed cheeks. Under the materials tab, click graphics. Now under graphics, click the plus button that's towards the bottom right here and select the option that says add as single graphic. You can move the facial features over to the side now and then reselect the bunny's head that we just created. And then from the materials tab, you can select the facial feature graphic that we just added and it will actually place it onto the face of the bunny. From here, you can adjust the placement of the facial features. You can move it up, down, to the side, wherever you would like. The graphic follows the actual contour of the 3D bunny that we made. After the facial features are placed, we can go over to the lighting tab and adjust the lighting however you would like. These settings usually vary project by project just based on what your preference is and what feels like works best. 
I'm gonna give you the settings that I decided on. However, as mentioned, go ahead and play around with these settings and see what feels best for you. The settings I've used are, the intensity is 95%, my rotation is 90 degrees, my height is 55, my softness is 90%, I have the ambient light checked and the intensity is set to 30%. I have toggled the shadows on and am setting the position to behind object. The distance from the object is set to 5% and the shadow bounds are at 25%. Okay, now all of our settings are looking pretty good. Let's go ahead and actually render the 3D bunny. To render, we are just going to press this little square at the top right corner of the 3D and materials panel. And once that's done loading, we are done. We've just created a cute little 3D bunny in Adobe Illustrator. This tutorial can be used to support you as you go through and create any other 3D objects as well. I would love to hear what you are planning to create using this tutorial down in the comments below. Let me know. I hope you have a wonderful and blessed Easter if you are watching this video during the Easter season. If you enjoyed this video, please do leave me a like, a comment, and a subscribe to my channel as it really helps to support me and I'm very grateful for all of your support. If you want to watch more of my videos, check out this playlist right here that has all of my brand identity projects. But for now, until the next video, remember to become the brand and Bye!